click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends we have seen what do you mean by the condensation its type we know that there are two types of condensation film wise and drop wise condensation in this topic we are going to talk about the drop wise condensation <music> So what do we have in case of a drop wise condensation again consider a small ball whose temperature is let's say tw and we have made sure that the tw is less than the t saturated now what is t saturated it is the saturation temperature for a given vapor which is there around the ball so what will happen in case of a drop wise condensation a small drops will be formed over the wall or over the surface of a given wall now these droplets can be of various shape and size now this will depend on so many parameter the most important parameter will be the surface tension apart from surface tension it is the mu and cp value for the given fluid that will decide what should be the size of a bubble that is formed over a wall so basically the important parameter in this case that need to be understand is that in the drop wise condensation small bubbles are formed over a surface so it will never wet the entire surface small surface will always be exposed to the vapor so that will enhance the heat transfer rate in case of a drop wise condensation so these are some of the silent feature which i have written down here in case of a drop wise condensation a small liquid droplets of various size and shape will be formed the size and shape may depend on these many parameters then the heat transfer rate or the heat flux are more as compared to that of the film wise condensation so for drop wise condensation the heat flux is more than that of the film condensation so to what amount so it is estimated that approximately 0.75 megawatt per meter square or 750 kilowatt per meter square is the amount by which it is more than that of the film wise condensation similarly we can say that the heat transfer coefficient in case of a drop wise condensation is 10 to 5 to 10 time more than the that of the film condensation so what decides if the condensation is a drop wise or film wise so that will be depending on the surface if the surface is highly polished then we will obviously end up getting the drop wise condensation or if the surface is there with the fatty acids or organic acids or organic compound then we are going to get a drop wise condensation so if we take a let's say a, a small fatty acid compound if we apply it onto the surface of a given wall then we are going to end up into the drop wise condensation itself the only point with the drop wise condensation is that it is quite tough to achieve because most of the scenario what will happen due to the gravity this drop will start falling and then a small film will be formed over a surface but this is a gradual activity but initially when the time is less if we get a small droplets onto the surface then that kind of condensation is a drop wise condensation now here i have listed some of the things that we can do to enhance the condensation process the first thing is we can obviously coat the given surface with the zinc we can either coat it with the zinc or any other Uh, fatty acids that will enhance the drop wise condensation or we can even make the surface highly smooth so that will also enhance the drop wise condensation so this is what we can do about the surface we can also add some of the content to the fluid that will enhance the drop wise condensation so those contents they call as a promoter those are nothing but oleic acid or mercaptan now these are the few of the compounds that is added to the given fluid to enhance the drop wise condensation 
वन मोर थिंग दैट वी कैन डू टू एनहांस द हीट ट्रांसफर एड इन केस ऑफ कंडेंसेशन इज बाय मेकिंग द सर्फेस इनक्लाइंट सी इफ आई मेक द सर्फेस इनक्लाइंट वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन वॉट एवर द फिल्म और द ड्रॉप दैट आर फॉर्म ऑन टू द सर्फेस दोज विल ऑब्वियसली गेट एलिमिनेटेड और दोज विल ऑब्वियसली कम डाउन एंड दैट विल एक्सपोज द सर्फेस टू द वेपर and that will obviously increase the heat transfer rate to make the delta t high if i make the delta t high that is if i make sure that t wall minus t sat is quite high now in that case what is going to happen obviously the condensation will be fast in this case and then due to the higher mass flow rate the surface will get vacated quickly and in turn that will increase the heat transfer rate now by saying all this thing to improve the heat transfer rate one can obviously understand that if we try to achieve a drop wise condensation then the value of heat transfer rate is quite high but there is a problem in achieving drop wise condensation practically speaking it is not that easy to achieve the drop wise condensation in most of the scenario we will always end up in getting the film wise condensation now that is why it is always recommended to design any given condenser we always have to imagine or the design has to be based on the film wise condensation only now that is it in this topic in this topic we talked about what do you mean by the drop wise condensation and its comparison with the film wise condensation we have also talked about various method by which how can we increase the heat transfer rate in case of a condensation now that is it in this topic thank you for watching this video please stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe to ikeda thank you